Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15 on to verse 21. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God, well, Paul never talked about the fear of our God, huh? Um, very quickly, um, Job. Go to Job. We want Job chapter 2. Job chapter 2. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Job chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. Where it says here in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. All things. Job 2, verses 9 and 10. Keeping in mind, in Job chapter 1 and in Job chapter 2, Satan was allowed to take virtually everything away from Job in one fell swoop. And of course in chapter 1, verses 21 and 22 in Job chapter 1, and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave and the Lord hath taken away, blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. Verses 9 and 10, in Job chapter 2. With everything that went on with Job, the same went on with his um, wife. Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse God and die. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish ones speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of God, and shall we not receive evil? In all this did not Job sin with his lips, giving thanks in all things, in all things, good, <laughs> not so good, that the trying of your faith, which, which reward is what, better than gold, rubies, right? First Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 12 on to verse 24. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Note the all there in 14 and 15. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And naturally, I think of the beloved Romans 8.28. <laughs> and we know that all things work together for good, and there is none good but God. To them that love God... To them who are the called, according to his purpose, the called, saved people who've come the way of the cross, 
the way that our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, requires, broken, contrite, and in fear of him, calling upon his name. Okay? Go back to 1 Thessalonians. Verse 16, Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the capital S spirit, despise not prophesyings, prove all things, starting with yourself, Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body, this is a person, be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Let's finish this chapter, shall we? Brethren, pray for us. Hmm. Greet all the brethren with an holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Let's read a song, shall we? This is just going to be a very short video, by the way. Very short. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. And there's only one name given among men under heaven whereby we must be saved. I want to know whose name that is. Yahashawui or whatever. Jesus Christ. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Hmm. Satisfieth thy mouth with good things. Oh, such as reading the scriptures. Hmm. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. Oh, amen, amen, amen. <laughs> He would much rather be merciful. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. And why do we as man seem to want to do that? Hmm? He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. I'll praise the Lord. Because if we got what we deserved, every single one of us would be roasting in hell right now. Amen? Except some of you perfect Christians out there. Right. For, uh, for as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. And we already saw Paul preaching the fear of God. <laughs> and there are those out there who say that Paul does never preached about the fear of God. <laughs> For he knoweth our frame. He remembereth that we are dust. See, the Lord wants from you, saint, that relationship. That dialogue, not a monologue, converse between you and him. He knows what you need, but he wants you to go to him. What do you do the first time when you have a dire need? Do you pray? 
Do you pray? Do I? Now in time, having your senses exercised by reason of use thereof, that's in uh, Hebrews, you learn in time that the only thing you can do as a saint is get down on your knees when you have your great need and look to the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ. As for man, his days are as grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children. Have you noticed the note of fear him used thus far? Hmm? To such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. Dispensational dis difference right there, but this is our instruction in righteousness, as you figured out. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Got some pretty big videos coming here. Um, praise the Lord, got the uh, Lord willing one that will come tomorrow. Um, but I wanted to make this real quick video, very short video. Say thank you. Thank you to all you brethren who pray for us and you sisters. Thank you to you brothers and sisters who from out of nowhere help us. You know who you are. We know who you are. And the Lord knows who you are. Thank you. Thank you to all of you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for helping us. Thank you. We can never repay such kindness. But just go on as the Lord would have us to do and to speak the truth of God's word. Thank you. Thank you to all of you. Thank you. We love you. And we pray for so many of you. Thank you. We won't forget you.